RJ, what's the significance of these phones? All right, so check this out. Here's, here is where Tupac was waiting, right over here by this wall, waiting for Suge to show up with the tickets to get in the fight. And he was pacing back and forth. He was getting really nervous and really antsy about it. Where Suge, where Suge. And then at that point, he called Frank Alexander, told Frank Alexander to go to the phone over here and call to find out what's going on with Suge, call Reggie to find out what's going on. They don't have pay phones anymore. But had there been a payphone right here, this is where Frank Alexander made the phone call to find out where Suge Knight was with the tickets to the fight. And of course, they showed up at the fight just as the national anthem was playing and went right in. Now, I want to check you guys something out here real quick. This is the place where Orlando Anderson got his stomping. It's all been sealed up. It's a lot more closed in. But if you notice, it's right adjacent to the bar, and over there, where Orlando Anderson came back to to get together with Corey Edwards and that. So these places are right next to each other, and it kind of adds a little bit more for you to understand where these places were in relationship to each other in case you don't know or you haven't been able to go there. More later. And there's the elevator doors, so when you look at the MGM video, you've got something in relation to the doors that you can see. You've got two banks of elevators, one on this side, and that side right there. Where this fountain is, was a big ugly ass looking tree. And that was where the beating happened, right behind that tree. So come this way. Right about here. Right about here is where it actually happened, where we're standing right now. Again, it didn't last very long. When Old Buntry came and did that piece, from this direction, flying kick. They all ran down this hallway. But now we're left, they all ran down this hallway. 